Hey guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another plan with me and for this week's spread I'm using this kit from Scribble Prince Co. This kit is called Baby Cakes and she released this quite a while ago now. Um, I can't even remember. I want to say it was like 2018, maybe even 2017, but I no, I think it was 2018. Um, and I used it for Mother's Day last year in 2019 and I still had these leftovers and I really loved the colors so much. They were just so bright and kind of different from what I normally go for, like all the color combinations. Like there's like a I don't know, is that a mint? Probably not. I don't know what color that is. Like an aqua, like a dark blue, an orange, and a pink. Like I would never really think to see those colors together, but I, I really love how they do look together. So I was excited to use this kit again. And I am memory planning for the week of Mother's Day. So I thought it was kind of appropriate to use this cake. I don't think think oh no I did do some baking this week so I guess it ended up working out well didn't bake with my mom or anything but still did some baking so even even in that sense um, this kit is super super cute so I started uh, in the sidebar I whited everything out with the Tombow monocorrection tape which I always get in like a big pack on Amazon uh, I honestly find that it's like the best white out for planning because it layers really well I've mentioned that before and honestly, that's like the only way that I can think of describing it. I feel like other whiteout, when I try to layer it, um, like to get a spot right beside it, it like pulls up what I just put down. So um, I think this like whiteout's great. But anyways, um, then I put down a heart checklist. This one had like a really nice marble pattern in the background. I used a to-do header from the kit and a washi strip on top of that because I had a little small gap of space there. And then I used an appointment label from the kit and an Ava that's wearing like a face mask from my shop just kind of to mark what week of self-isolation, nope, <laughs> social distancing, quarantine, whatever you want to call it. I still don't know what I want to call it. Um, maybe social distancing, but I keep calling it quarantine <laughs> or isolation. Like I wrote isolation week eight, which sounds a little dramatic. Um, I'm not fully self-isolating, but I am definitely social distancing. Anyways, so that's kind of what I did in my sidebar there. And then when I used this kit, I laid down a bunch of headers and then I ended up changing my mind on them. I think I ended up pull, pulling in like maybe some glitter headers. I don't really remember. This was kind of a long time ago, but I had all these headers that I kind of just left on this uh, washi sheet that I guess I just never took up after. So I used these uh, like bow foiled headers and these were from Harriet Wright Designs. I don't think she has these available anymore. These are pretty old and like it's, um, I think it's also on her older paper. It's like on a matte paper, um, but I had them right there and I was using rose gold anyways. So I kind of thought, why not? And yeah, I think the bow headers in this planner look super cute. Like I was going between using the solid rose gold ones versus these bow headers. And I think the, these look super cute because it's still kind of, especially with the marble in them, I feel like it's still like, looks very white and clean in the in like the header area so I really like that and then um once I finished that I moved ahead and put down my date dots these are some bow date dots that are from my shop these are actually in the last chance area right now um and yeah so they are like relatively new in my shop but the only reason I'm putting them in the last chance area is because I kind of wanted to reformat them to make them the same size sheets as like the rest of the sheets in my shop just so that I don't have like a bunch of different size sheets. Um, so yeah, if you guys do need uh, any date dots, all the date dots in my shop, also all the monthly scripts, anything like that, anything that's pretty much like a different shape to my two normal shape sheets, <laughs> um, it's all in the last chance section and all of those are 30% off. So if you guys need anything, I'm kind of like rehauling and rethinking a lot of the stuff in my shop. So definitely check that out if you're interested. But okay, Monday is already laid down. So I started uh, by putting down a half box from the kit and an Ava on her desk from my shop to mark down that I just had like a really big burst of inspiration and decided to design this day. And then afterwards, I did do some reading. So I used a foiled book icon from my shop. I was reading The Silent Patient. I started it I think really late the night before and just read like maybe a couple pages or like a chapter because the chapters are really short um, and then this day I did some more reading and then in the evening Yanni came over and I used 
this uh, bow sticker that was from my shop. I don't know if those are available. They were in the last chance section. I'm not really sure if they've sold out at this point or not, um, but those were in collaboration with Regina Laughs. And then on to Tuesday, the first thing that I'm marking down here was that it was payday. I really need to get myself some more of those payday scripts, but those two are in the last chance section, so maybe I shouldn't. Um, I don't love using stickers in my like videos that you guys can't get, like specifically if they're in my shop. Um, if they're in other shops, I can't really control that, but um, if they're in my shop, I don't love it, but I feel like I often do because I'm just like constantly either releasing new things or like discontinuing other things, so... I try my best to use like the recent stuff in my shop, but sometimes I'm like, oh, the sticker is just like so perfect. So there's that. Um, but yeah, I marked payday with a money icon, like circle sticker from the kit. And I put a little bow on top of it to give it some extra foil. And then I marked that I was working on orders again. I used another appointment label from the kit, that like aqua colored one. And then I used a um, bow laptop from my shop on top of it. And then I used a spending header from the kit and two of these mini hearts that are from my shop to mark down uh, that I placed an order at American Eagle as well as Lululemon. And then the last thing that I put down at the bottom of the day was a little thing, a TV little thing specifically to mark down that Yanni came over. I thought that looked really cute and it brought in some more of the colors uh, like from the actual kit. And then Wednesday, oh no, sorry, I added also this little cupcake to that section because I thought there was a little too much white space there and it looked a little naked. But Wednesday, I used this YouTube play button that was also uh, discontinued from my shop to mark down that I had a video go live. I also had a bill due this day, so I just kind of stuck it at the bottom of the day because I already had that aqua colored appointment label um, like on Tuesday and I didn't want them to be too close to one another. And then I'm pulling in another one of these bows. I was kind of going back and forth about how I marked uh, Yanni coming over, whether it's with this bow or a little thing or something like that. So this day I did use another bow. And then I also did some filming this day and I used another icon from the kit and another little mini bow from my shop. And then the last thing that I put down was a film like script font thing <laughs> that was in collaboration with Gabriella Plans and was uh, from my shop as well. And I'm just filling it all out and I'm moving on to Thursday. So Thursday, I kind of wanted to make another little checklist again, but I couldn't find a happy mail header. Like I swear she had them. Um, I don't know if I just like was completely overlooking it and like not seeing it or maybe I was making that up that she had them or maybe in this format she didn't have them. I'm not really sure, but I ended up just grabbing some washi as well as this package icon from the kit, um, layered those two together kind of instead of a header, and then I used um, another two little hearts to kind of make my own little checklist there. And I think that turned out cute as well. Um, also kind of gave it some, you know, variety a little bit where, you know, one I used like the header and the other I didn't. So I thought that looked really cute. And then I did some more designing this day. I was having a lot of inspo this week, I guess, and I was doing a lot of designing. So I used this quarter box that was from the kit and I end up putting an Ava. It's like a work from home Ava um, that's also like on her desk and on the phone. I am definitely not on the phone <laughs> while designing, but um, I'm at my desk. So I thought I could still use it and she's so cute. I wanted to use her. And then I used another little thing at the bottom of the day to mark Yanni coming over because like I said, I was going back and forth between the two options. And then Friday, I used another half box at the top of the day. I honestly had like such a lazy day. I was reading a lot this day and then kind of just like didn't want to work. I was just didn't want to do anything. Um, so I, you know, was like, okay, that's fine. I've been working a bunch, so today I won't. <laughs> um, but yeah, on top of the half box, I used an Ava that's like in her PJs um, to mark that I was kind of in my PJs all day. Well, I don't know if that's true. Probably not, but most of the day I was in my PJs. So that's kind of what I did there. And then I wanted to move it up, but I was just like honestly too lazy to get my undo. And when I tried peeling it up without undo, it like wasn't happening. So I was like, all right, well, we're gonna have slightly janky spacing between the half box and the flag. Cause on the flag, I ended up uh, writing that I finished the book that I started earlier that week or late last week, whichever it was. And I used another book icon to mark that. And then I used another bow icon to mark hanging out with Yanni in the evening again. And then Saturday, my brother had been asking me to give him a haircut. 
I have never given anyone a haircut, so this was my first time ever doing it. But since then, I have also given my dad a haircut and colored my mom's hair. So honestly, guys, like saloning like a pro, hair like a pro, that's coming next. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> um, but, you know, it turned out all right, especially this first one. It turned out all right. <laughs> Um, but to mark it, I used an appointment label from the kit and a mini icon because she actually had like a hair cutting thing, which was really convenient. And then I did some more filming this day. So to mark it, I used this film slate icon and another one of the film scripts, um, the same one as I used on Wednesday. And they're like so close to each other. It kind of looks like they're like next to each other, but they'll be separated by rings when it's in the planner. So I think it'll be less noticeable. And then uh, in the evening, Yanni and I decided to bake some cookies. So we ended up making both keto cookies and, you know, regular non-keto cookies. We did chocolate chip and they were actually really good, especially the non-keto ones. I had a bite of Yanni's and it was a lot better than the keto ones. Um, I didn't, I usually like anything keto, I usually try to make like myself, but this was just like a pre-made one that I just had to add a few ingredients to and I will not be repurchasing it. So there's that, but uh, I marked that with some deco from the kit and an icon, or sorry, a half box from the kit as well. I was looking at me putting down an icon now, but trying to explain what happened on Saturday. But anyways, Sunday was Mother's Day, so I used a flag and an icon, a heart icon to mark that down. And then um, my brother and I went and got some sushi and some wine for the family, and it was really nice. We all just like sat together and had lunch. My dad doesn't eat anything but like American, Russian, or let's see, Italian cuisine. So there was definitely no sushi eating by him. He's kind of picky. Even even between those cuisines, he's very picky. So no sushi for him. But um, my brother and mom and I all had sushi and my dad was obviously with us as well. And we had some wine, which was really good. And uh, I just marked that with a label from the kit and a meal bow icon from my shop. And then I marked that I had another plan with me go live this day and that Yanni came over with a little thing. So yeah, that was pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.